Welcome to SPJMR. My name is uh, Sajeev Abraham George. I head the operations and supply chain area of uh, SPJMR. It's uh, my pleasure to introduce uh, you to the area of operations and supply chain and uh, talk about uh, the scope and also about how the operations and supply chain area is integrated with uh, the current needs of the industry. Operations and supply chain uh, area is uh, one of the four major specializations offered for the MBA programs of uh, SPJMR. This has been one of the uh, first or this uh, specialization has been there right from the inception of uh, SPJMR and uh, therefore we have a uh, uh, say network of uh, alumni who are in uh, senior operations management uh, positions. Uh, we uh, are known for uh, the area of uh, operations and uh, we are also ranked very high or right in the top in both the international as well as uh, national uh, rankings. The faculty of this area, we are also fortunate to have faculty in this area who are not only uh, having in-depth academic uh, knowledge, uh, they are also having the expert expertise and experience to relate the theory with the current uh, business uh, practices. Coming to the area of operations and supply chain, any business organization, the three main uh, functional areas of a business uh, would be marketing, finance and uh, operations. So the operations uh, function is uh, majorly uh, responsible for uh, producing and delivering products and services to the customer. Uh, in an efficient and uh, effective manner. For this, we always talk about uh, processes. So processes, how do you design, manage and improve processes so that uh, uh, we add the superior value for customer that uh, could be considered as a broad objective of uh, operations management. So when you look at operations management, we tend to have uh, a supply chain view of operations that uh, helps to integrate the different uh, stages of value addition uh, which could be a network of uh, suppliers and uh, customers. So when you look at uh, process, uh, it's important to look at process in terms of uh, three important uh, uh, components. We look at the capacity, we look at uh, inventory and also look at uh, the lead time. So capacity is definitely an important thing because uh, that's mainly capturing the output uh, the process produces and that is something that business organizations are definitely concerned about. How do you match your capacity with the change in demand? So that's a, a task that all business organizations are facing. Uh, when there is a mismatch between capacity and demand, there is also a, a inventory, inventory of materials. So sometimes it could be the waiting line of uh, people. So how do you manage the inventory? How do you optimize the inventory? That again is uh, one of the major areas of decision areas of operations management. At the same time, how much time it takes for you to produce and deliver products and services to the customer, definitely that's again going to be a competitive priority. So in this uh, three different important things, the process mainly consists of uh, transformation, transformation of uh, maybe material or uh, information or people, or it could also be movement of uh, these, and it could also be a storage of uh, uh, these three elements. Some people tend to think that uh, operations management is all about day-to-day uh, -day activities of a business organization. However, this is uh, not true. Operations uh, management uh, supports the business strategy of any business organization and it is important for operations strategy to be aligned with the business strategy of a firm. So op operations is more of an execution function how the strategy is uh, getting executed, operations play a major role in that. So there are, uh, uh, say, so there, there are long-term and short-term decision areas in operations management. The long-term decisions in operations management might include uh, process uh, selection. Uh, it could be sometimes uh, facility lo location uh, layout. It could be uh, long-term technology solutions or it could be sometimes uh, global sourcing and things of that kind. At the same time, there are also short-term decisions which should support the long-term decisions, 
which could be how do you manage the capacity and demand in the short term. Uh, it could also be about uh, production control, quality control, operation scheduling, workforce scheduling, so on and so forth. Coming to the curriculum and courses uh, that we offer in the area of operations and uh, supply chain. Uh, in the first year, we have a general operations management course which covers uh, the fundamental decision areas of uh, operations and supply chain. Uh, this is something that uh, all the MBAs respective of his or her specialization uh, should know. In the second year, we have uh, specialization courses which is uh, uh, basically trying to make sure that uh, the students have uh, the functional uh, knowledge or deep uh, functional uh, knowledge in the area of their specialization. So this operations and supply chain in the second year we offer uh, courses uh, which are uh, some of the courses could be supply chain management, logistics and supply chain management. We have manufacturing planning and control, we have operation strategy, uh, we have service operations management, strategic cost management, project management, emerging technologies, IoT and such kind of things, application of that in uh, supply chains. We also have uh, courses uh, on uh, Lean, uh, Six Sigma, the Theory of Constraints, uh, so on and so forth. These are all based on uh, the continuous inputs uh, that we get from the industry. We keep uh, getting feedback from the industry in terms of uh, the courses and we try to incorporate uh, uh, new courses at the same time. We also keep modifying the courses accordingly. Uh, at the same time, after this uh, specialization courses, the students also get a chance to uh, spend three weeks in a partner school in the US where they again uh, further do some operations and supply chain specialization courses. At the same time, they also get an opportunity to do a live project with uh, one of the top companies in the US. So the pedagogy that we use here is uh, uh, very much student centric. We have along with uh, uh, the uh, interactive classroom sessions, we use a lot of uh, powerful uh, simulations. We have uh, group work, we have uh, uh, say projects and uh, we also have a lot of uh, maybe the industry uh, live projects which are being integrated with uh, some of the courses and so on. And many of these courses are also highly uh, say data driven. Uh, we have uh, say most of the courses we have operations uh, research tools and analytic, analytical tools which are helping to take uh, decisions in operations and uh, supply chain. So it is important to have analytical and problem solving ability for uh, students who are aspiring for the operations and supply chain uh, specialization. So operations and supply chain area is uh, very, very broad and uh, the opportunities are also immense uh, for uh, MBAs. Apart from general management uh, roles, uh, operation specialization students uh, get recruited in supply chain roles. They also get uh, recruited in e-commerce. Uh, they might be uh, also having roles such as, uh, as a demand planning, production planning, uh, maybe uh, say uh, logistics or warehousing and so on and so forth. At the same time, uh, top consulting companies also come to our campus to recruit operation students uh, in the role of uh, business strategy, operation strategy business uh, process excellence, process improvement and uh, so on. So when you look at uh, a prospective candidate in the area of uh, operations, the primary thing that we might be uh, looking at would be uh, the analytical and problem solving uh, ability. At the same time, a great passion to learn, uh, definitely the right attitude. And uh, uh, obviously maybe a, a couple of years of relevant experience uh, could be an added advantage to the candidate. Looking forward to meeting you here. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.